at the moment we have no curative treatment for ME for either in children or in adults and hopefully someday we will have. If we can come clean and admit we don't have a curative treatment we should probably stop using the word treatment and use the word management and then we have to talk about different management strategies. I personally have uh, a feeling that the, the efficacy of cognitive behavioural therapy and graded exercise has been perhaps exaggerated and it certainly isn't a curative treatment and its, adv its advantages can be actually quite marginal. The, there is a condition called, uh, there, there is a treatment in the form of immunoglobulin for which there is some evidence from randomised controlled trials. I think it's a great pity that these have not been repeated in recent years but I have had some therapeutic success with immunoglobulin in my most severe cases and this is an area for future research. Otherwise the management of a child with ME should be a simple, supportive, sympathetic, validating, empathetic uh, uh, approach in which the doctor, as, as I've said, gives continuity and support throughout the illness together with good advice. There are some things that children with ME deserve protection from. They deserve protection from their own uh, drive to do too much because children naturally want to get better quickly and will exploit any temporary remission by tending to overdo things. So helping to advise them to protect them from those tendencies. After that, of course, there are many other sources of pressure on children, not least from their parents, from their families, from their doctors and from the educational system. And again, the main role of a paediatrician can be to protect the child from these pressures and allow them to convalesce at their own stage. There's always a pressure from the educational system to try to get children with ME to go to school even when they're not well enough for this. I think this is where the doctors have to be firm and to override the pressures from the education. They have to say this child is not well enough for school. The difficult case, I sometimes say it's harder to have ME mildly than it is to have it severely because you have so many more options. So the child who's operating at about 70% of full capacity can just about attend some school and therefore they need to, the, the doctor has to help the school to be very flexible and understanding about the condition so they don't keep sucking the child into more pressure. It's sometimes easier for children to be off school completely and to have home tuition which is an ideal uh, way of delivering education to sick ME children and for them to allow themselves to catch up later when they when they recover from their ME. There is a very unfortunate and uh, regrettable tendency for some children with ME and their families to be subjected to a sort of persecution by child protection agencies and this is extremely uh, unfortunate and painful the most important way to prevent this is for the paediatrician, for the child to be under a paediatrician who's made a confident, clear diagnosis of ME and for him to make it clear to all the other agencies that he or she believes in ME as a physical illness. That it's not a psychological illness, it's not due to the parents being overprotective and if the paediatrician gets it right then the child is protected. When they don't get it right it is frightening to see the number of people who will then get it wrong from education to social work to psychiatry and uh, I've personally been involved in 30 very very distressing cases all due to this sort of failure to protect. Heeft u een vraag naar aanleiding van deze video? Reageer op YouTube of tweet naar het MECVS vereniging of mail naar wvp@ ma cvsverenigingnl De beste vragen worden in een volgende video behandeld.